Meanwhile, people in Castroville are also dealing with the aftermath of the storms. The bulk of the damage in that area can be seen on Highway 90. And as Alicia Barrera reports, the strong storms wiped out at least one small business. Daylight exposed the trail of the storms and a possible tornado that ripped through Castroville just hours before. Along Highway 90 West, down power lines, a trampoline on the side of the road, trees scattered on the roadways, and an RV on its side made drivers slow down. Some businesses like Castroville True Value were spared from any storm damage, but just a few feet away, a total wipeout of a small business. I started calling around and, and we just ended up coming in when there was a break in the storm and all these people started showing up to help us clean up. There's people passing by that I guess we're checking it out. 16 year old Trent Anderson is the owner of Bee Space, a bee removal and honey business that's now gone. Yeah, so it just it rolled those tents over into the road there and and a whole bunch of other stuff out all around here. So a big blow for the entrepreneur as he was in the middle of remodeling his shop. Well, I bring in jams and all these other products in and I remodeled the shop and all that um, and I put about three thousand dollars three to, to three thirty five hundred in the past two or to three months in it. Family and friends have helped with cleanup, but Anderson says for now he has no other option than to cancel all upcoming events to focus on saving up to rebuild his shop. That's like restoring my faith in humanity that in so many donations. Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News.